In this video, I will show you the five ways to use Google Sheets checkbox option. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below. You can go to Insert tab and find the checkbox. You can also go to Data Validation from the Data tab. And from there, you can choose the criteria as checkbox. Now, first, the logic. Once you go to a cell, and if you insert a checkbox, the tick and the untick is the visual part of things. However, if you notice the function bar, upon my click or unclick, it turns into true or false. So lesson number one here is the checkbox stores the value true and false. Now in Excel or Google Sheet, Two means one and false means zero, which means if you're multiplying this checkbox with any numeric value, let's say 120 and press enter. If the checkbox is turned on, it means true. True means one, and therefore one multiplied by 120 is the same number. You can see the result as it's happening. It's often used in mathematical computations. Next, you can also use this with if logical statement, if, and choose the cell containing the checkbox. By default, if it is true, then what would you like to do? Let's say B for bonus. And if it's not turned on, then NB means no bonus. Now, if I turn this checkbox on, I see bonus and no bonus. Similarly, you can also use and function to check for two parameters being true. If both are true, let's say the E14 cell and the F4, then it shows me true notice. If you like this trick, why don't you check out our entire library? Click on the link in the description below to get full access. You can also have a custom value without writing an if statement notice. If you do so, you choose a cell, go to data. Next, go to data validation. Next, from the criteria, choose checkbox and then choose the option, use custom cell values. If it is checked, then I would want B for bonus and NB for no bonus. Once I save this, let me see what happens. Turning this on or off reveals a value in the function bar. Notice. Next. If I go to a cell and simply point out to the cell, it will carry the same value as B and NB. It can also be used to create a checklist. Notice. So who all are eligible for a bonus? And since it carries a value of true, you can use a basic function of count if to find out how many true values exist in this range. So if you select two checkboxes, I get the count as two. So friends, these are the five ways to use Google Sheets checkbox. This option will not work in Microsoft Excel as this is unique to Google Sheet.